Okay, so in a previous video I showed you how you could project an image from a camera onto a piece of geometry such that if you then move the camera or move the geometry, the image that was projected would update. However, one of the drawbacks of this method is that the image often gets projected multiple times onto the geometry. So here you can see that it's been projected onto the platform itself, but then it's also gone through and it's been projected again onto the tracks. And that's just one of the limitations with this method. Um, and there is a way to solve that in Blender, um, and that's by using the texture painting system. So how does it work? First, we have to remove any modifiers associated with the texture. So here I'm going to remove the UV texture modifier and I'm also going to remove the material that I have here. And I'm going to create a new one here. And also we have to make sure that our camera is active. So currently you can see that the triangle up here is hollow, which means that it's not active. So I'm going to select it, press Control, number pad zero, go to the view of my camera, um, and that also makes sure that it's active. So now you can see that the triangle is filled at the top. And then I can select my object. I can go to where it says object mode. I can change to texture paint mode. If I press this little tab on the right hand side and go to tool, we get the tools for painting. And to begin with, we don't have any texture slots on this object. So I'm just gonna press the little plus icon here and add a texture slot. For now, we'll choose base color. Ideally, we would use the emission shader but base color will do for now. So we're going to click and drag on both these fields and set the dimension of the image to 4096 pixels. And I'm going to set the color to a very dark gray. And then I'm going to press it. And you can see that the texture is applied to the object, but it's a little bit shiny. So I'm just going to hit the specular value and turn that down so it's got more of a matte finish. And now we're ready to project the image onto the geometry. So what we do is we go over here. It says where it says options and we go to the subsection where it says external, it's very well buried. And here where it says camera image, we want to go in and select our image texture. And for me, this is called bridge FSPY because I've been imported it from FSPY. I click back and you can see the image gets projected onto the object. And this time it has worked out that there is an edge here. So it's created the shadow in the projection where the platform is including the object. So if I line up to where the camera was, you can see that's where the platform is overlapping in the geometry. And you can see the other nice thing is that it hasn't projected onto the top faces here. And another thing that you might notice is that the texture fades into the distance. And that's because the incident angle of the ray that's been fired from the camera, um, it's very shallow when it hits this bit of geometry. And if you go to the fall off settings and texture paint, you can see that there's this option called normal fall off turned on. And if we turn that off uh, and then apply the image again, we can see that you get the full color pixel all the way back at the back of the model where, where the incident ray is very shallow. So that's a good way to fix that problem. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that if you try to move the camera, it no longer updates the projection, although you do have the advantage of being able to paint on top of this texture. So if you wanted to make slight tweaks to it, you'd be able to use um, the painting tools to adjust it. And that's basically how you project an image uh, baked onto some geometry.